Hi everyone, I'm Alex Roy with John L. Scott Real Estate. And I'm Anthony Loaders with Priority Home Lending. And we're here with another uh, you know, great interview with a lender to ask the question, how much house can I afford brackets? What is PITI? Folks have heard of it. It's, you know, maybe they know it's their monthly payment that they're making when they buy a home. Mm -hmm. But let's break this down, Anthony. What is PITI? What does yeah, it stand for? Absolutely. So your P will stand for principal. Okay, okay. That is paying back your loan, right? The principal amount you're paying to pay off your loan. Excellent. I is for? Interest. There's an interest rate tied in with your loan. The interest that you pay back while paying off your loan. Absolutely. You're paying a little bit more because you got to borrow that money. T? Tax. Your property tax that is associated based off the value of your home. And there's a good point right there. It's the property tax on the home, and that can vary from house to house. You could have two identical looking houses on the same street, and they could have different property tax. It's a funny tax system in Portland. I can tell you more about that, but just be aware, property taxes vary very much from house to house. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and then I? I will be for your homeowner's insurance. Just like having auto insurance, you have to have your home insured. Cool. So usually, well, these two things could be paid in one big lump sum each year. Absolutely. But what do most people who have a mortgage do? I would say most people lump them into their mortgage payment. That way they don't have to cut a big check once a year to uh, your local government or your uh, homeowner's insurance agent. Beautiful. Yeah. Like So a mortgage helps you spread out those payments over the year. Yeah, absolutely. I like that. Good system. So now... To help us understand this, we're going to cover two scenarios. We're going to look at a house that is actively on the market right now, great little store at our home, and then break down the numbers and show how things can vary when you bring a different down payment. The house that I've got here, and tell me what you think of this house, Anthony, got a little starter home out on 79th. Cute starter home, I think it's perfect for the scenarios we're going to run. Good, good, yeah. You know, it's two bedrooms, one bath, 975 square feet. Looks like it's got a decent roof on it. It's got some hardwood floors inside. Kitchen looks like it's in good shape. So does the bathroom. Lots of fresh paint. And the deck out back. Yeah, good little starter home. Love it. So here's our first scenario. What are we looking at here, Anthony? Yeah, so we're looking at a purchase price, $300,000. We ran a, a generic interest rate based off of what we may see for a 740 plus credit score. Okay. And then the minimum down payment of 3% down, which on $300,000 is nine grand. Um, mm -hmm. Borrowers will want to be aware. We may need to save up for some closing costs in addition. Yep. So you may need more than nine grand, but you can work with your lender and your realtor on that. Yeah. To see if maybe a seller can cover some closing costs. Absolutely. So ballpark, if you've got 9,000, let's say, even a little bit better, ten thousand yeah. dollars to make the whole deal work. We could be buying a home. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people are like, "Wait, wait! I thought I needed twenty percent down on to buy a home." No, not at all. For conventional financing, which is the two scenarios we're running today, three percent down is the minimum. Excellent. All right. Everything else staying constant. So, what does this make our monthly payments? Yeah, it's going to be two thousand eight dollars and some change. Not bad. Like yeah. that's that is manageable. Yeah. For a lot of people out there, not that scary. And don't forget, like you're not paying that that insurance on top of that, the tax on top of that. It's all wrapped into that's this. your total PITI. That's the whole thing. Yep. And so, how does that break down? Yeah. So your principal and interest paying back the loan sixteen oh six a month, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you lump into that your property tax at two thirty two, your homeowner's insurance at sixty dollars. But you may notice that that's not. That doesn't dollars. add up to no, 2008. No, what are we no. missing here? We're missing the PMI, also private mortgage insurance. That's also based off down payment and credit score mm -hmm. for the, uh, the amount you pay each month. This specific scenario with a top credit profile, uh, $109 a month. Very cool. Very cool. That is uh, all this information right here. That is PMI, but this isn't TMI. We do need to know all of this. Sorry, <laughs> terrible joke just came to mind. All right. Scenario two, everything else is constant, yeah. but the down payment, we, we were able to bring 20%. Maybe uh, the person has really saved up or the parents mm -hmm. gift some money. Yeah. What, what, could, what happens here? Yeah, you might like this payment a little more. You're going to be down to 16, 17, Ooh. maybe a little bit of change after that. You'll notice the PMI will have dropped. There will be no private mortgage insurance. 
your principal and interest, so paying back that loan, $1,325. Taxes will stay the same, and then our estimated homeowner's insurance will stay the same. You will have the ability to shop for homeowner's insurance, so mm -hmm. maybe your realtor or your lender can refer you a couple of people, but uh, this is also subject. To yes, yes, and, and if you're in a flood area, there's, it's going to be more. Mm -hmm. If you want special earthquake insurance yeah. and stuff like that, it's going to be more. But you get to shop around for that. That's a pretty good number. Like that is at or possibly below what people are paying for rent yeah. on the same type of home. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There, there, there you go. So as as a final kind of question, mm -hmm. the big variable here was the interest rate. A higher interest rate is going to mean that you're, you're paying more monthly. So how do people figure out what interest rate they are going to get? Yeah, absolutely. I would say give me a call. We'll sit down. I'll have you bring in a few supporting income docs, asset docs, and then we'll just do a pre-approval application. Uh, we'll pull your credit. How long does that take? 10 to 15 minutes. Tops. Really? Yeah. Just that? Pretty easy. Yeah. So easy. Sit just... down. We'll make it We'll make it be uh, nice and painless. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So you don't have to be in the dark about this. You can find this out and... You look at the numbers here, this is doable for a lot of people. You don't have to be afraid about going out and getting that first starter home. No. Quit paying your money to your landlord, put it into a house that is your equity. Yeah, paying to your own investment. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Anthony. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Alex Roy with John L. Scott. I'm Anthony Loaders with Priority Home Lending. Have a great week, guys. I know.